sunshine, for nourishing rain, dear Lord, for thy goodness. There are times when I feel like I'm living in two worlds. I spend most of my days being clobbered with computers and cars and smartphones. And just like everyone else, trying to figure out where all of this new technology is taking us. Yet I also find myself just as much at home among the Amish and Mennonites. A culture of buggies, beards, and deep spirituality. Often my two worlds overlap. And over the years I've become well known for my writing and studies of Amish culture. I give talks to rooms packed with people seeking answers to questions about life's simplicity. Answers that I struggle to give them because I'm not sure I know myself the answers. Sure, I know a lot about Amish culture. That's what I'm known for. But simplicity? I've spent time in Amish settlements from Maine to Montana. Searching for answers to questions that many people have, I know what it is that makes the Amish so captivating to so many people. It's the simplicity, it's the faith, maybe the full supper tables, perhaps a combination of all of them. But as I've passed my 40th birthday recently, I've come to a nagging conclusion that while I'm very good at talking about simplicity, I'm not very good at living it myself. So I'm reaching out to my Amish friends in an attempt to reconnect with simplicity in my own life before it's too late. So is there hope for a city person like me to learn these things? I mean, do you think sure. that... Sure, why not? Yeah. You're never now, too old? You know, there, there's things like I would learn with horses as a young child growing up, which is easier, would be easier than it would be for you coming in at 40 years old and learning how to drive a horse. Yeah. So with some trepidation, tempered by the excitement of the adventure that lies ahead, I'm leaving the comforts of my Ohio home to spend some time with my Amish friends halfway across the country. I'm going to learn what it's like to be plain, to embrace the goodness of the earth, to connect with food, family, and faith, to feel the sweat on my brow and the satisfaction of a hard day's work completed. Check. And yes, some good clean fun also. The Amish aren't all about work. In, uh, in Genesis, it talks about Abraham serving cheese. Okay. For when the, the Lord and two angels came to visit him, uh, he went and got a kid and said, butter, was it butter, milk, and cheese? And uh, you were up at 5.30, I was like, you've got to be kidding. She's not studying at 5.30. I was up at 5.30. Did you? What time does your school day usually start here, down here? 6.30. 6.30. 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, Okay. There's an inherently slower pace in being Amish, a pace that all of us might gain some good from emulating, at least a little. What's the uh, most important thing to remember when you're driving the buggy in terms of like traffic safety? I mean, you... Um, I don't know. You, you basically have all the same traffic rules as, you know, a car does. Okay. Outsiders who wish to join the Amish faith are known as seekers. I'm not a formal seeker, but I'm seeking something. I'm not quite sure what it is. Is it simplicity? I was kind of excited about it because Vincent talked me into uh, getting the Bible on my phone. And I actually like it because you can look up the chapter and verse very easily. Mm -hmm. People grow up in different cultures and it's not that one way is right and the other is wrong. It's just for me. I with the pages, and I like the pages. Yeah. <laughs> the richness of the faith? Or is it something else I'm seeking? Perhaps after some time spent with my friends, I'll finally know. I know this is not going to be easy, but this may be my last chance to find out. I'm not getting any younger. We were in a bad car accident last summer. And while we were blessed to have been able to walk away from it, it was still very jarring. It made me look at my own life and appreciate how fleeting it is, how it can be taken away in an instant. So I want to try to live the rest of my life as close to the principles of my Amish friends as I can. And if I fall short, at least I can say I really tried. Thank you.
peace. We thank